Okay, so we looked at y equals x cubed first, and we decided that yes, this is a function. We looked at it both by choosing a few points, and then we also looked at it by graphing it on our calculator. We also looked at y equals the absolute value of x. We looked at that on our calculator, and we saw that it was this v-shaped graph. So any um, vertical line that we were to pass down through that would only pass in one spot. So this was a function also. All right, now we need to look at something that is not a function so you can see the difference in them. This equation here, if you'll notice from the first two that we did, what is so different about this equation than the previous two? Well, if we look, we see that the first one was y equals something, the second one was y equals something, this one is x plus y squared equals something. So let's get it into y equals form before we do anything else, and maybe that will help us. So if I were to move my x over to the other side, we would get y squared equals 1 minus x. Now, if you'll notice on our calculator, um, we didn't have, it, it said y1 equals y2 equals, let me go back to that. If I go into my y equals here, this was the last thing we did. You notice that you have y1, y2, y3, y4. This means your first y, your second y, your third y. We could graph many equations on the same screen, but it doesn't say anything about y squared. It only says the first y, the second y. So before we can uh, begin to graph this, we need to get y alone, and it's not that way right now. So in order to undo the squaring, what we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So when I take the square root, we get y equals, and don't forget, when you square root something, you get plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x. This is actually two equations written compactly. This is really y equals the square root of 1 minus x, and it's also y equals negative square root of 1 minus x. Now think about what I just said. This is two equations written compactly as one. Two equations. That means if I put in an x value, I'm going to get two different y's because this is actually two equations. But let's look at it graphically so that maybe we can get a better picture of it. I'm going to graph in my y1 the square root, which I have to do second, and then x squared. You see the little square root symbol there written in blue uh, right above that. Yours may be in yellow, depending on what uh, model calculator you have. Uh, but then 1 minus x, and I'm going to close the parentheses. Now I'm going to drop down to my y2, and this time we're going to put in negative square root, so second x squared, 1 minus x, close the parentheses. Since this was two equations written compactly as one, we have to enter it in the calculator as two separate equations, and then it will graph it together on the same screen. Now this is what x plus y squared equals 1 looks like. Now think about that vertical line test that we talked about a while ago. If I were to pass a vertical line down through this graph, it's going to hit it actually in two spots, isn't it? So that means that this x value has this y value and this y value. The same x has two different y's. That means it's not a function. It doesn't pass the vertical line test. It doesn't um, pass the, the definition of what a function truly is.